Hello, and welcome to the Clio Integration Cloud Cockpit. I'm Jacob Olson, Solution Architect at Clio, and today we'll be focusing on the question, what is an EDI 856? We will see a technical view of an EDI 856 document and finish with an example of an EDI order process complete with other EDI documents related to the 856 used throughout an EDI ordering exchange. So what is an EDI 856? An EDI 856 is officially referred to as an advanced shipping notice. Oftentimes you'll hear it referred to as an advanced ship notice or abbreviated to ASN. The 856 Advanced Shipping Notice, or ASN, provides detailed information about an upcoming delivery. It's used to electronically communicate the contents of a shipment to a trading partner and is most often used in the retail, manufacturing, and automotive industries. So how is an EDI 856 Advanced Ship Notice used? Well, the EDI 856 document is sent in advance of a shipping arrival at another trading partner's facility in response to one of three transactions. In my example here, I have an EDI 850 document that uh, originated this order, uh, but that might also be an EDI 830 or an EDI 862 very commonly. And uh, after, you know, after you receive an EDI 850, EDI 830 or 862 document, an advanced shipping notice is sent to communicate the shipment is en route to the destination. Once the ASN EDI document is received by your trading partner, an EDI 997 functional acknowledgement is generated and sent back to uh, the partner to indicate successful receipt of the EDI 856 document. Now, why do businesses throughout the supply chain use EDI 856 transactions? In short, it's to provide notice of a shipment along with expected arrival timelines. The EDI ASN provides detailed information about a pending delivery of goods, allowing your trading partner, oftentimes a retailer or a distributor, to prepare for that delivery. What you're seeing here within the Clio platform is an example EDI 856 transaction. EDI trading partners might send you a slightly different formats of this transaction, but the core elements will remain the same. So let's examine some of the basic elements of an EDI 856 uh, document um, in, the, in, uh, in the RAW. So what we're looking at right now, this is an EDI 856 document. You'll see the, the uh, transaction header here and let us know that it's an 856 document. You'll see very commonly descriptors, uh, including things like uh, what is the uh, identifier the, of the uh, the type of good, um, the, the whether it's a uh, particular box or identifier and the number that it would be contained along with some of the details about size and weight and things like that. Who will be delivering the goods, right? Who the carrier is in this example. You'll see some date time information. Uh, this may be when we expect the goods to be to arrive uh, at the purchaser, or it can also in this example be when the goods were um, were uh, sent out from the uh, from the supplier in this, in this case. You'll also see N1 through N4 segments, which are address information. Um, and you'll see that this is coded as ship to, and you'll also see down below ship from. Um, so you can basically tell who is sending and who's receiving. You'll see all kinds of information around the different line items then within the the, um, the shipment, including things like you know particular identifiers and item codes, um, along with uh, relations back to the original order, so that uh, these can be tracked against what was ordered and now what's being delivered to fulfill those. So this is in this example a purchase order number that's contained inside of here, and then specifically the the uh, quantity of different items and line items that are being delivered, the unit of measure and then what is actually the description of those um, uh, of those items. So for each line item, and you'll see that these are repeating values, right? Line item one, line item two, line item three down below. So all these um, will be built into the, the transaction based on what's actually contained um, in, the, um, uh, it, it, in the shipment that, that comes to the, uh, to the purchaser. So, you know, there's a lot of detail packed into the ASN, but the point is to provide an accurate picture of what is to be delivered and when. So let's move on to an example of an EDI 856 in the broader order process. First, your EDI 850 purchase order in this case is received from an, an EDI trading partner, or in this example, this is my partner Acme. Once the, uh, the order is received, then your backend system will generate a purchase order acknowledgement 
for ACME to acknowledge that the EDI 850 purchase order was received and to confirm what part or parts of the order are actually being fulfilled. Clio Integration Cloud then will pick up that order acknowledgement from your back end and deliver the EDI 855 representation of that acknowledgement. Third, Clio's cloud-based EDI platform works with your backend system to generate an EDI 856 and sends that document to ACME, what we just described, giving information about the contents and the delivery timeline of that ship. And then last, the, uh, the, the backend system will also generate an invoice generally. And again, Clio Integration Cloud will pick up that information from the back end. It will transform it into the EDI representation of that 810 document, and that will be then delivered to the partner. Of course, all of this is the same in reverse. If you are instead ordering from a vendor and you expect them to send you acknowledgements, ASNs, and invoices, it would be exactly the same in Clio Integration Cloud. The only difference is that uh, we would um, see all of these arrows, of course, reversed in this example. So there you have it. That's a little detail about the EDI 856 advanced shipping notice documents, how they're used and where they fit into the life cycle of an EDI order and fulfillment process. If you're looking to send, receive, or transform any of the EDI ASNs, purchase orders, or any other documents we've discussed today, please don't hesitate to reach out to Clio and request a demo of Clio Integration Cloud. Thank you.